Hello friends, it's Tuesday. That means it's time for another episode of PD on Pop Culture. And today, I wanted to talk to you about a film that just recently came out on Disney Plus, the streaming service. Uh, it's a new film from Pixar. So you know Pixar from films like uh, Toy Story and The Incredibles and Ratatouille. Uh, this film is called Luca. And it is basically the story of a young boy who's actually a sea monster I'm not really giving anything away here uh, and his adventures going on land and meeting another boy you know our main character is Luca he meets a boy named Alberto who is also like him um, so when they go in the water they become sea monsters when they dry off they become human um, and <clears throat> This is a, okay, it, it premiered on Friday, I believe, not today's Tuesday, premiered on Friday on Disney Plus, and I think my son Nicholas has watched it four or five times now. Um, it's a fun little movie. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to put it at the top of Pixar's list. I, I think Pixar has made a lot of really great movies. Um, this doesn't reach the ranks of, you know, Toy Story 2 or anything like that. Um, but it is a lot of fun. Um, it has a, a healthy, wholesome message. There is certainly nothing in this film that is, um, even really remotely objectionable. You know, there's a bad guy who's a bully and, you know, that kind of thing. But there's, there's nothing that, that's really uh harmful there's no nothing graphic no curse words or drug use or anything like that um it, it really is just the story of these two boys and and um and how one inspires the other really in both directions each inspires the other one uh to to on their journey to becoming men to growing up um, and learning to live in the real world um, outside of their their families of origin now as in many coming of age stories it's a little bit of a, a runaway thing but um, <clears throat> ultimately both characters by the end of the film end up being changed and and so in that sense it, it's a real coming of age sort of a growth into adult ways of thinking story and i think that's really rewarding when when your kids enjoy a film like that and i think your kids will enjoy this film um that's really rewarding to see because you want them to to get to that point where they start to really understand and start to think like individuals um anyway i wanted to share a one passage of scripture from this uh film that well it wasn't in the film but kind of speaks to the film this is uh, Romans 8 chapter 15 the spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again rather the spirit you receive brought about your adoption to sonship and by him we cry Abba Father um, there's a <clears throat> there's sort of a sign or maybe a parallel story in this where um, one of the boys is is very afraid of doing things and the other is sort of an adventurer and very outgoing and wants to do crazy stunts so uh, one boy is x games and the other is uh, you know reading rainbow if you will <clears throat> and uh so in order to get over his fear of doing things the 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 adventurous boy teaches the the little more scared boy that he, he has this voice in his head telling him not to do certain things. He says, that's that voice is Bruno. Well, why do you call it Bruno? I don't know. I just call it Bruno. But uh, I say, silencio Bruno, uh, which means quiet. Do something fun. Um, and I think we can all learn from that sometimes. Sometimes we let anxiety take us over, right? Uh, and sometimes we all need a little silencio Bruno, a little quiet down that stuff and do something 
that uh, you may find out is really engaging and enjoyable that you wouldn't have tried because you were afraid or you were anxious to do it. So um, <clears throat> anyways, a lot of le levels to the story. I think that uh, it's a fun film to watch. I think you'll enjoy it if you have Disney+. Plus. Um, there's probably... Uh, th this is definitely a story for all ages so you know from your youngest to your oldest um and you know all you adults and senior citizens you're gonna like it too i think it's a fun film it's not high art but it's definitely a fun movie it's a good story and that's where every film should be tell me a good story first anyway friends that's what i have for you this week hope you're all doing well take care and god bless bye now